Hey folks, Chuck Long here with the Arkansas Game Fish Commission. Um, we're back here in the Long household, back in our kitchen. We're going to be doing another recipe for you today, and we're going to be cooking some doves. You know, dove season is kind of the kickoff for a lot of folks for hunting season in Arkansas. I mean, it's a time to get together with friends, spend some time with them. It's a great time to take a kid out hunting, let them experience the outdoors. You know, there's a lot of action. It's usually not too, not too hot, not too cold. Um, it's a great challenge in, in the shooting side of it and figuring the birds out. Um, and, and one of the, my favorite things about it is provide some good food for you. So we're going to talk about cooking some doves. You know, traditionally, when you think about doves, you think of most people, they bring them in and, and they wrap them in bacon and stick them on the grill. And, and that's a great way to cook them. I like doing that. But we've pretty much in our household, we try to do a lot of other things with doves and ducks and, and any other wild game deer as well. Um, we, we like to make it into what else, whatever else we'd like to eat. Today we're going to be doing kind of our version of, of dove with uh, in fajitas. Um, we're going to be taking some uh, real basic ingredients, making some dove fajitas. Basically all we've got, we've got some doves right here. And we're going to talk about the doves here in just a minute, about, about getting to this point. We have some fajita seasoning, and I'm just going to use, this is McCormick's uh, fajita seasoning. We really like that, so I'm going to use it. We have some, uh, a few peppers and onions that we've got cut up, and uh, I've got a little bit of chicken broth, and got a couple of skillets over here, and actually I'm uh, going to do some in our Instant Pot as well, show you a little bit different take on it. So uh, y'all hang with us. Let's cook some doves. Well, here's our doves we're going to cook. Now, one thing I always like to do, when I, after I clean any game, and, and so, so I've cleaned it, I've washed it up, I put it in a colander and stick it in the refrigerator for a couple days um, b before I freeze it. That way it lets some of that blood drain out. I also, when I pull that meat out of the freezer, I like to also stick it in the colander for it to thaw. That way, a lot of those juices, if the, your meat's not sitting down in, in, in blood or anything like that, and it lets it drain out, and to me it makes it taste better. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna let, we, we've had our doves out, they're good and thawed out, they're sitting in our colander. We're gonna take about 10 or 12 of these, and we're gonna cut them up. Then we're gonna take about 10 or 12, put them in an Instant Pot. Now to cut these up and get them ready, and you can see the dove ha has a, a breastbone right down the middle. I'm gonna just take in my knife and basically fillet off each side. And you wanna be sure and get that tender that's right next to the bone. And I'm gonna flay it off. And I'm gonna cut it across the grain and, and put it in my bowl to cook. Again, I'm just gonna cut it one time. And you can cut it smaller if you'd like. That's just the way I've always done it. And again, you wanna get close to the bone Make sure you got a good sharp knife. And I'm just gonna cut this meat off. And again, cut the breast just once. And that's what my bone's gonna look like when I'm done. You can see I've got all the meat, pretty much all the meat off of it. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you a quick video of how I clean a dove. All right, break the wings. Twist each wing. Thumb underneath the breastbone. Thumb underneath the, the backbone. Push. Pull the skin off, and you're done. We ended up with a pretty good batch of uh, dove fillets right here that we're going to cook easy in a skillet. But I'm going to take the rest of the breasts that I have, and I'm going to actually put them in my Instant Pot and cook them. Now to do that, I'm going to put in about, you know, doves are, are fairly, uh, they'll be fairly dry. So I want a little bit of moisture in there. Not a lot of fat on them. 
So almost a whole box of chicken broth from soak in. And that's just uh, just regular chicken broth. And and you could use beef broth. Um, you could maybe maybe you made some broth with uh, some bones from some animals. Then I'm just gonna take a, a one bag of my fajita seasoning. And I'm going to sprinkle it in there. And I'm going to drop my doves down in there. Make sure they're all under the under the water just, or the broth just a little bit. Put my lid on. Now I'm going to set my instant pot right here and I'm gonna go down I'm actually gonna put it on the poultry setting um, and uh, I've got her started and so we're gonna let those cook in there then we're gonna step over here to the stove and cook over there uh, we're over here at the stove top we're gonna cook the dove breast that we cut off on our stove top here just real quick and I'm just going to use a, the, again, a fajita marinade, McCormick's fajita marinade. I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I think it's got a recipe on the back. I just um, think it calls for a quarter cup of water. So mix that up. Give that a little stir. And you can do this one of two ways. You can put put your go and put your doves in the skillet, um, and then put your your seasoning on. I just this is the way I've always done it. And I'm gonna put my doves in here. So I got my my fajita seasoning with water, doves in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil right here. Um, And you can use canola, you can use any oil you'd like to there. It's not, you know, the kind of oil is not that important. You just need some kind of oil. You can see that makes up a nice, um, starts mixing up good and nice. And that oil helps the seasoning stick to your birds a little bit better. I've got my skillet sitting on a little bit over a medium here. Not, not real hot, but a little bit over a medium. So I'm gonna take my doves and it's getting warm already. I'm gonna just drop them in. And I don't, I'm not gonna cook them real hot. I think I'm gonna add just a touch more oil in there. I'm not gonna cook them real hot because um, you know you don't wanna you don't want them to just shrivel away on you. So and all I'm trying to do is just cook them through and uh, um, they ought to turn out pretty good. All right, we got our doves cooking right here. I've got a little olive oil in this skillet over here. And in that, I'm gonna put my peppers and onions. Um, and this is just uh, a couple of bell peppers, uh, a couple of other uh, peppers cut up, um, uh, some of the mini peppers. I like the flavor of those. They're a little bit, little bit sweeter. Um, uh, one jalapeno and then some onions. And again, it's, it's probably a, you know about a cup and a half or so all together. And you can do this however you want to. Now, uh, so you can put this right in here with your doves, and that's fine. But a lot of folks in my family don't like all this stuff, so it's pretty much me just eating this. So I cook it separate. So we're going to put it over here in our skillet, and we're just going to cook those a little bit. And we're getting close to being done. As our doves are cooking, I do like to stir them a little bit. I don't stir them a whole lot, but um, once you start seeing them get cooked on one side, I like to flip them over. And I don't want to cook them too much because I like all that juice in there. And again, you know, doves are a, a little bit delicate uh, meat, so we don't want to overcook it. And one thing you're going to start seeing, the, the tenders that's in the, that, that came right next to the breast, just like a chicken tender, these are on the doves, are going to, are going to start turning white. And that's going to tell you those are done. And these are almost done. Um, we're going to move around our... our uh, Pepper and onions over here. And again, I'm doing them separate only because my family doesn't really like to eat them. Our peppers and onions are just about done. 
once your peppers start getting a little bit translucent, or your onions start getting a little bit translucent, and your peppers get soft. And I like to cook them a little bit more. Um, so we're going to let them cook just a bit more. But our doves, if you look here, um, that the, um, the mix we put in here with them made a real good sauce to go with them. So they're ready. Our doves in the Instant Pot are done as well, so I'm going to pull them out. I'm just going to put them in a, back in a colander just to drain them. And they're going to have to cool just a minute. Now, the one advantage here is that they should be pretty tender. And, you know, you're kind of going to, we're going to have to pull them off the breastbone. Um, and we'll do that. Now, uh, one thing you could do here, if you don't have an Instant Pot, put these in a crock pot for a couple hours. Put them on high for a couple hours, maybe you're, you know, you're, you're uh, going to eat supper a little bit later or, or you've got to, you know, you don't have time to prepare them. Um, this actually goes a little bit quicker just because of the, you don't have to cut them off and they're a little bit easier to pull off than cut off. So there's a couple of things you can do with this. So I'm going to let these cool for just a minute and then we'll show you how we pull them off. All right, we're wrapping up our last one here from our Instant Pot doves and um, we're just going to pull, you know, you can pull them, you can cut them, however you like to do it. It's nice when you can pull them. We're just going to discard our carcasses and then we're just going to take our knife and just work our way through our pile here of meat and dice it up a little bit into however size we want it for fajitas. And I think, you know, th th this is, again, I probably like the pan fried a little bit better. This is a good option. Maybe, you know, you got something else you need to do. You want to cook your doves and you don't want to sit there and watch them. Um, put them in, again, put them in a crock pot, um, whichever whichever you'd like. And I got, I ladled out some of my, my broth and my, that I had them cooked in. And I'm just going to put them back in there till we're ready to eat them. Well, let's put our supper together. And I hope y'all don't get too upset with me, but I'm going to deviate from my script a little bit. Um, the, the doves that were in the, uh, in the Instant Pot turned out really tender. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them, I'm going to make me some dove nachos. I'm going to put on a little bit of this dove meat. Got me a bed of chips here. A little bit of dove meat. I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, peppers that I cook, peppers and onions. And I like a little salsa, so we're going to sprinkle a little salsa around, and then we're going to top it off with some grated cheese, and there you go, a nice little dove nacho. Now I'm going to show you how to put together our fajita. I'm going to use a, I've got a, a warm tortilla here, put some of the dove on it that, that came out of our uh, skillet. Add a little bit of our peppers and onions that we mixed up. Again, most of my family don't, don't care much for these, but I do. Um, add a little bit of salsa. And you could do refried beans. You know, just whatever you like here. That's the unique thing about this. You can make it whatever you want. And then top it with our uh, grated cheese. Or you could use cheese sauce, rotel. Wrap her up. And we've got a dove fajita. So... We are ready for supper, and I got it too big, it won't even close. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipes today. Doves are a great option in the kitchen. Um, they're they're uh, sporty in the field, so hopefully you get out there and hunt a few. You know, today we did the dove fajitas, and that was just simply taking the doves, cooking them in a skillet, and, and having the peppers and onions cooked with them. Then we wrapped them in a flour tortilla with, uh, I had some salsa, some grated cheese, and we also did the dove nachos. Again, those are the doves that we cooked in the Instant Pot. You can also cook those in a crock pot and, and get them pretty tender and then dice them up pretty small and put down your better tortilla chips, put your doves on top, and then uh, you can uh, uh, add, add whatever you want on your nachos. You can add the salsa, the, the grated cheese, uh, sour cream, uh, refried beans, whatever you want. You know, doves are just a great option in the kitchen. So hopefully you guys get out and do a little hunting. Um, we got dove season coming up pretty close. It's a great opportunity to take a kid out, take your family out, go out and spend some good, some good fun time with, with them. 
Man, I hope you guys get out there, and I hope to see you guys out there in the field. Thanks for watching.